The secret's out. How do longtime attendees get ready for the sign and graphics event of the year? Learn all about it in the Insider's Guide to ISA Sign Expo. Let's do this. Based upon what our wants and needs are, we'll kind of do some homework in advance as to if there's a specific type of equipment that we're looking for, do our research on what vendors are going to be at the show that we could, you know, kind of collaborate within that specific type of equipment um, and, and, and try to get as many, I don't want to say dialogues going in advance that you can if you have those resources and you have those contacts with those vendors that are going to be there. We do have like what we call a living, breathing sign show document. And Throughout the year, we actually reference that document. Occasionally, we'll be talking, and I'll hear, you know, we really need to look for that at the show next year. So I'll make note of that, and we'll put it on that document. So usually two, sometimes three months ahead of the show, we'll get together as a group and um, start thinking about who, who, who needs to go to the show um, and uh, what type of things we need to go to the show. And then this document comes to life, and we start adding to it, start bringing in our supervisors, and, and uh, start putting our list together. I think we're very customer facing and we try to bring that in as we look at the show and what we're going to be evaluating and taking note of while we're there. Um, we also are really focused on trends in the industry. So we're attuned to the items that have come up um, over the past couple of years. It's been a while since we've been in person. So there's a lot to look at. There's a lot more to be engaged with in these next couple of weeks.